Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. We're gonna to talk about texting and the telephone. But really quickly, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button wherever it's at. And if you have something to say, please post a comment below. I wanna hear your thoughts about this video and anything else that you may have in mind. Okay, let's talk about texting versus the telephone because I know, or at least as a dating and relationship relationship coach for women, oftentimes I hear one of the most frustrating things uh, over and over and over again is in the early stages of dating or even in a seasoned relationship, how oftentimes men choose to use the, the, the smartphone the smartphone for communicating via text messaging versus getting on a telephone. And I know for many of you, and tell me if I'm wrong, um, you'd like to hear a man's voice. You wanna be able to connect at an auditory level instead of the thumb level. And I wanna go into a couple of the reasons why this occurs before we shift on how to turn this around. So I want you to think about this. In the beginning stages of dating, most of the time these days we're meeting total strangers. And what I mean to say is it used to be when we lived in tribes, whoever we mated with was someone we knew. When we lived in a small town, there was a chance as you knew the person or you knew their family. Certainly if you met someone in a work environment, you knew who they were. And now we've evolved to a situation where most of the time we're not meeting people organically. We're meeting people through an online connection. Not always, but a significant number of time. In fact, from an antidotal perspective, I've noticed almost 50 Wait, 50% of all new relationships is happening through an online connection. And so the reality is, is when we're meeting someone from an online perspective, they are a total stranger to us. We know so little. And whether there is a couple scribbles on their profile or there's an essay written, that we, we don't trust that's who they are yet. And so there's this kind of mis... By the way, I just noticed that this picture was off. <laughs> I want to fix that. Ah, well, I fell down. <laughs> um, where was I? Okay, now going back, I'm sorry for being disconnected here, and I should edit this, but I'm just going to go raw like this. So when it comes to connecting with someone who's a total stranger, and we don't feel familiar with them, we don't feel comfortable, we don't feel like we know them yet, it's hard sometimes to express how we're feeling through words, and it's safer to communicate via text messaging in the beginning, to exchange some thoughts, some ideas, because it allows us time to process, it allows us time to feel, um, hear what the other person says. We and, and also, it just might be that, you know, there's another reason we might be busy doing other things and we can communicate through this medium much easier. But I think the primary reason why people for lack of a better word, hide behind the smartphone is because they don't feel safe yet. And I say safe, or they don't really feel familiar with you yet. So there's, I think we set ourselves up when we have these expectations too high in the beginning stages. Now, certainly in a seasoned relationship, there might be a different reason why a man might choose texting over telephone. And I can say that in many cases, it's, it's centered around if their professional life is on the telephone all day long, it becomes so much of an emotional burden to be on the phone later in the day. Even if you genuinely care about your partner, if you truly care about your partner, it still might be emotionally draining to get on the phone and sometimes it's just easier to communicate via text messaging. Now, let me just say this. I'm not a big, I'm not encouraging uh, texting for serious conversations or anything that requires some depth. I'm talking about those quick little check-ins to say hi. But if you want to get your guy to shift, especially in the early stages, in that brand new stages of dating, to shift from text to telephone call, then there is one simple way to make that happen. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Um, first, just recognize, I just wanna step in and say, hey, look, most men are good guys they're just bad daters. And I think Hollywood and Disney has set us up men for failure because we're the knight in shining armor and we're chivalrous and we know what we want and we know what we're doing. And I can tell you that's the furthest thing from the truth. As we age, 
our emotional, I'm going to call it luggage, not baggage, our emotional luggage starts to set in. And for many men, as well as women, they haven't navigated their emotional luggage in such a way that they're free from the weight of this emotional luggage. And what I'm talking about is childhood wounds and traumas that might cause us to not be fully articulate with our own feelings and desires because we just haven't learned it. And I just want you to lean in and recognize that most men are good guys. They're just bad at the process. So let's have compassion for both sexes. Men should have compassion for women, and I'm encouraging you to have compassion for men. Because there's really this one simple thing you can do to get a guy to start calling you. And that's simply ask. <laughs> ask him to call you. Simply say, hey, I really appreciate text messaging, but I would prefer a telephone call and express what you want. You know, it's interesting how often that seems to be ignored or forgotten that you can ask for what you want. I mean, simply asking doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna say no or yes, it's just a request. So my invitation for you, if you want to shift from a texting relationship to a telephone relationship, then just ask for it. Now, it might be that you might communicate less, but you might have more richer communication, more quality communication, if that's what you're seeking. And I can't guarantee that, but what, can I, what I can say is when you make a request for what you want, you actually determine whether or not they're really ready to invest in you. But please be careful because in the early stages of dating, as I said before, we're total strangers with one another. And that Hollywood Disney fantasy that men are gonna charge in um, is not a reality because we don't know you yet. It takes time to get to know another human being. In fact, it takes, one person I heard said, it takes 100 hours of face-to-face -face time, face-to-face -face time, to really get to know another human being. So just recognize that it takes time to feel familiar and safe. And the more familiar and safe we feel, whether man or woman, the more likely we're going to want to engage in more telephone calls than just the safer way of text messaging. Ah, okay. I'm sure you have, a, you have something to say. I want to hear about it. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you've got something you want to add or something I missed, please post it. I want to hear about it. And if you'd like to learn more about what I do, I've got a free gift called The Five Qualities A Man Seeks in a Soulmate. I highly check, recommend you check it out. And check out my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Where is it? Somewhere here. What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? My book. And that's the back cover, which you can see right there as well. All right, I'm going to sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug, if I have your consent. Uh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.